Welcome to Operations Research, Decision Theory Lectures Series by Prof. Joy G. Tughosh. This is the third lecture of a three-lecture series. This lecture will be on decision tree that is multi-stage decision-making problems. Decision node, chance node, terminal node and branches are explained. How to construct a decision tree is explained clearly. How to calculate the EVM at each chance and decision node is explained with examples. Hands-on explanation for solving some typical problems on decision trees. Several examples has been discussed. So, do not miss and watch the full video. For the next video in the lecture series, please click the suggested video link above. You may also click on the playlist at end of the video to access all the videos. Please subscribe this channel and yes, do not forget to like and share. Also click on the bell icon to receive instant information of new videos uploaded. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to this lecture 3 of 3 lecture series on decision theory. In this lecture we will be discussing decision trees. In the first two lectures that we have discussed, the problems that we have discussed in the first two lectures were single stage problems. But in real life scenario, the decisions that we take lead to another decision and that decision leads to another decision. So there is a cascading effect of the decisions that we take in business. And such type of problems we will refer to as multi-stage problems. So decision trees are typically applied to this type of problems which is a multi-stage problems. So we will construct a decision tree uh, which is basically a schematic representation of the multi-stage decision problems and from that we will find out what is the best uh, route of decision for the decision maker. In order to understand decision tree uh, you have to understand what is a decision node, what is a chance node, what is a terminal node, what is a decision branch, what is a chance branch and what is a terminal branch. These things will be, uh, will be required uh, for you to understand in order to understand the decision trees. So this I will be discussing uh, while I will discuss the problems. That will be better for you to understand. We will start with the problem here. And with these problems, I will be explaining the terminologies. So this is the problem. Please go through this problem carefully. So here, uh, a client has an estate agent and that estate agent uh, has to sell three properties for the client. That is property A, property B and property C. And the client agrees to pay commission of 5% for each sale. That means for each of the properties, the client is ready to pay a 5% commission, but he specifies certain conditions. The state agent must sell property A first and then, and this he must do within 60 days. And if and when A is sold, the agent received a 5% commission on that, on that sale. He can then either back out at that stage or nominate and try to sell the remaining two properties within 60 days. If he does not succeed in selling the nominated property in that period, he is not given the opportunity to sell the third property. So, on the same conditions. So, this continues. And uh, the probability of the agent selling is given to us, of the three properties are given to us, and the price of the property is also given to us, uh, and the cost associated or cost incurred by the sale, sales agent for selling that particular property is also given to us. Now we have to construct a decision tree for this problem and we have to select the best strategy under uh, expected value of money approach. So this can be done in two ways. Uh, I will be discussing this particular problem using a software which is called tree plan software tree plan software is available for free the older versions are available for free i am using a version called 179 tree plan 179 that version is available in, in the net for free and you can download it and you can add it in excel and you can solve it i'll demonstrate it by that particular software but you can do it manually yourself it's no big deal it's a very simple thing to construct uh, 
Uh, however, I will tell you how to get the software and how to use the software. I'll teach it to you. So you don't have to do anything much. Just type P Plan Free Download and Google will give you this link. In this link, go to courseswashington.edu, click on this, and it will automatically download it. It will, it will automatically automatically be downloaded. So save it here in your computer and then open excel open the excel click on blank click on file go to options in options click on add-ins in add-ins click on excel add-ins go then already i have added it here so click on browse on browse go to the place where you have saved it and then click ok so it will be loaded like this so this is one that i am using is free plan uh, 1.79 plan 1.79 this entry okay so on this <clears throat> okay so uh, this is how you install tree plan this is, is it's in adding this entry you have to click it and it will be added so we'll discuss come back to it later for the time being let us understand this now here uh, i want to point something here okay so here so how much profit one earns is by selling this is 5% of this is how much so 5% of 12000 is how much let's calculate it into point zero 0.05 is 600 and out of the 600 he spends uh, 400 so therefore uh, therefore for selling this earns uh, a profit of only 200 similarly for this we get 1025 and for this 2050 these are the values you noted down so this here this comes out to be uh, this comes out to be 200 from a this comes out to be 1025 and this comes out to be 2050 so with this we move on this comes out to be 200 1025 and 2050 note it down please okay so this is the recent tree i have constructed using tree plan i'll show you how to create this tree so let's see here so first reason the reason maker takes is that whether to accept to sell a or not to sell so this is a decision node this is not this is a decision node so accepts this is a decision branch this is a decision branch do not accept a. this is a decision branch this is a decision node this is a chance node so here two chances can happen either he is able to sell a and he is not able to sell a so there are probability associated with chance since this is chance so there is a probability associated with it and how much profit he earns is written here likewise so he sells a if he sells a he can accept b is a decision this uh, uh, is the decision node here so he can accept b or he can accept c so let's see if he accepts b then then there is a chance node he sells b or he cannot sell b if he sells b then he can accept c or he may not accept c if he accepts C, then it can be is not mentioned here. Sell C or would not sell C. So likewise, coming back here, uh, if he accepts C, he can sell C or cannot sell C. And if he sells C, then he can accept B and <coughs> do not accept B. And if he accepts B, he sells B and would not sell B. So likewise, the tree is constructed. I will tell you we'll go in details. So before that, let us discuss the terminologies first. So this is called a decision node this is a chance node this is a decision accepting a is a decision do not accept a is a decision accept b is a decision accept c is a decision accept c is a decision do not accept c is a decision similarly these are all decisions these are all decision nodes these are all decision nodes okay so these are all decision nodes and these are all chance node these are all chance node these are all sorry these are all chance node from circle circle is denoted by chance 
and square is denoted by decision and the triangle is a terminal node this is a terminal node and this is a terminal branch this is a terminal branch this is a terminal node okay so this is an outcome of an event <coughs> this is an outcome of an event he sells it or he do not sell it likewise these are outcomes sells b could not sell b these are outcomes these are profit earned so by selling c he earns a profit of 2050 already i have told you so this is the profit earned and this is the probability of sales 0.6 is the probability of sales so 0.4 is the probability of not selling this is the probability of selling this is the probability uh, this is the probability of selling c this is the probability of selling not c not selling c this is the cumulative profit so here what we are doing is that we are so here 200 we have earning profit this is 200 plus 1025 is 1225 plus 2225 2250 is 3275 so this is uh, these are all added here so this comes out to be 3200 3, for all branch cumulatively we will be adding the profit see here also you can see the profits are added 2050 1025 and 200 here 200 1200 2050 105 1025 these are all profit cumulative profit that is added and this is the expected value of money so here the profit is 3275 and the probability is 0.5 so 0.5 into 3275 and 0.5 into uh, 1225 will give you the expected value of money at this particular node it comes out to be 2250 okay 2250 from here so <clears throat> so from here we will be selecting the maximum this is a maximization problem so from this from in the decision node the EVM will be maximum of these two maximum of these two from the two decision branches at the decision node the, it will EVM will be maximum of these two so this is 2250 one two five one two two five so maximum is two two five zero so it is two two five zero is allocated here so similarly here three two five into point six plus two two five zero into point four gives us two eight six five two eight six five okay so EBM at this node so two eight six five uh, maximum of two eight six five and two two five zero is two eight six five so it is allocated to this decision so the maximum of this is this likewise for all decision node and for chance node we will be calculating the EVMs we will be calculating the EVMs for all the decision nodes and all the chance nodes so for this it is coming out to be 5215325 so <clears throat> so here this will be uh, 0.7 into 15325 it comes out to be 1072.8 so this is 1073 so this is the root the maximum root maximization root so the decision maker should follow this root so this is how we solve this type of problem the same problem i'll be solving in a uh, tree plan software and show it to you how this is done but you have to do it yourself manually i'll show it in decision uh, tree so here we'll start from here let's say we we'll start from here Control shift T that a new tree. The new tree has started. So what is the first decision? First decision is to either to accept accept A or not to accept not to accept A. Okay. So now <clears throat> this is not a terminal bus. I have to convert it into a uh, once we accept A, so there can be control control shift T. We change into event node. So after this node, there will be event node. How many node branches? Two branches here. So okay. Now here there is an option node. So you can select whether this is a maximization problem or minimization problem. So this is a minimization problem, maximization problem. So no, don't worry. Click here, change to event node, select two, press OK. Now once you press OK, now this become an event node and there are two outcomes for this event so what is the first outcome is that 
the agent has is able to sell a or could not sell a now what is the probability of selling a the probability of selling a is 0 0.7 this is 0 0.7 the probability of not selling will be 0 0.3 okay so how much profit he earns he earns 200 profit so enter here 200 okay so you can see it is added it, it is automatically adding here okay so 200 into 0 0.7 is 0 0.4 this is two uh, evm here calculating the evm at this particular node so you can give it a color here also if you want you make it red and you can make these blue okay and this as green cells A this is green okay so here again this will be a decision branch two okay now accepts to sell B or other reason is not to accept or to sorry except to sell C so now here at this point at this particular point the decision maker can either sell B or sell A decide to sell C let's say if he decides to sell A sell B then what is what can be the possible chances that can occur so we'll convert it into a chance node chance node what are the two possible outcomes the two possible outcomes are I, he can sell and he cannot sell so two bunches are there so I'm clicking on two so sells B could not sell B and the probability is here 0 0.6 this is 0 0.4 okay so you can see it is cumulatively added here and the profit here by selling b is 201025 so now you will see it will change here yes so this is 1025 plus this 200 the profit the profits are added here cumulatively so in the, at the end now at this terminal it is one two two five okay now this doesn't end here if he able to sell b now he can he has an option and he can decide this is a decision node to either to accept c to sell or not to accept so accepts to sell c not to accept not to accept c now, if he sells c there can be two possibilities that is happening here that is two chances that is able to sell c or is not able to sell c And the probability of selling C is 50% and this is 2050. So it should come out C again total. So when you are doing manually, so you will be adding these profits here, like this. Okay. So here in this branch is not earning. If it takes this branch, it could not sell, then the profit currently is 1225. Okay. So like this, we built it here and we we'll come back to this when accepts to sell C. If he accepts to sell C, then there again there are the two possibilities that may happen. Sell C and could not sell C. 
if he sells C, then he may opt to sell B, and there is another two decision here, or he may not opt to sell B. Accepts to sell B. not to accept B okay if he accepts to sell B again two things can happen here either he is able to sell it two chance may happen or he may not be able to sell it so let's say this is the first one he sells B here and would not sell B, would not sell B, and the probability is 0 0.6, this is 0 0.4, and uh, C is 5, this is profit earned, this is 2050, and the profit earned here is 1025, okay, so now the tree is complete here, and you will see, you will see, these are these are decision nodes okay these are decision nodes these are chance nodes Okay, so this color will help you to identify which are the chance nodes, which are the decision nodes, the green are the decision nodes, the red are the chance nodes, and blue are the terminal nodes, according to the branches. So you can see here, the this is the maximum of these two, maximum is selected, so this is this one, this path will be selected, this path will be selected. So I hope this part is clear to you. Let's move on with another problem. Okay, this is the problem. So here, Mr. Sina has to decide uh, whether or not to drill a well on his farm. In this, in this village, only 40% of the well drills are successful at 200 feet of depth. Some of the farmers who did not get water at 200 feet drilled further up to 250 feet, but only 20% struck water at 250 feet. The cost of drilling is rupees 50 per foot. Mr. Mr. Sina estimated that he would pay 18,000 during a five-year period in the present value terms. So if he continues to buy water from neighbor rather than go to the well, which would have a life of five years. So that the following decision has to be made. Should he drill up to 200 feet if no water is found at 200 feet should it drill up to 250 feet and 
should he continue to buy water from his neighbor so these are the decisions that has to be taken and appropriate decision tree will be uh, has to be made to determine its optimal decision so let's solve this by uh, tree plan so here let's insert here new tree so first decision is that to either to drill up to 200 feet or or to buy water from neighbor okay to drill up to this he has to cost first of all this is a uh, this is an minimization problem so accordingly we will be selecting so here the cost has to be minimized the cost of purchasing the water has to be minimized this is a minimization problem so we are selecting minimization here okay and uh, for drilling you have to incur a cost of 15 to 200 feet it is 10,000 and for buying water 18,000 so the cumulative the cost will be added here so here once it drills up to 200 feet there may be a chance of either finding water or not finding water okay so finds water finds what are the probabilities the probability of finding water is 40 percent so it is 0.4 and not finding water is 60 percent okay okay let's say uh, this we finds water finds water fine this be four okay and this be point six do not find water if we do not find water he has to take a decision what are the decision decision is that if may further drill up to 50 feet or he may buy from the neighbor so there are two branches up available here for decision so drill further 50 feet or buy from neighbor okay so for buying from neighbor he has to incur a cost of 18,000 here so the cumulative cost is currently 28,000 and for drilling 50 feet you have to incur a cost of 2,500 the cost increases here so now after drilling there may be two options available here so that is either he finds two chances that can be available here either he finds water or does not find water let's say finds water the probability is 20 percent does not find water so if he finds water he stops here and if he does not find water so then he has to purchase from the neighbor so there is a decision he has to take the decision note and there is only one decision here so accordingly buy from neighbor and the cost associated with this is 18,000 18,000 accordingly it is coming so this is 0.2 then this will be 0 0.8 and
okay it is coming out to be this whereas minimum of this and this is 18,000 so obviously it is better not to drill and to buy directly from the neighbor Two zero one zero four zero. So it all matches. Yes. So this is how you solve using tree plan, and it is not necessary that you have to use tree plan. You can do this by yourselves only. Only thing is that what we are doing is that here we are adding it here, and uh, from here you can check by calculators. I can show you using the calculators the calculations what uh, is doing okay i'm showing the calculations here so this is what uh, it is doing is that at this particular point it is 0.2 into this is 0.2 into 1 2 Five zero zero. This two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred plus point eight into three zero five zero zero. Sorry, three zero five zero zero into point eight plus two thousand five hundred gives you two thousand six hundred nine hundred to twenty six thousand nine hundred so from this <coughs> from this and this the minimum of for uh, these two this is a minimization problem so here it is this one so from this minimum is two six nine zero so this will be selected from this minimum is uh, is coming out to be uh, from this you can calculate here 2690 into 0 0.6 is plus <coughs> plus sorry 26900 into 0 0.6 plus 0.4 into 20140 and from the minimum of 20140 and 18,000 is 18,000 so therefore it is better for the person to buy water from the neighbor so this is how you calculate in this entry in the EVMs the expected value of money so i hope uh, this is clear to you uh, i'll ask you to solve one more problem this is the problem and i'll show you the solutions of it this is the solution to this particular problem So with this we come to the end of this lecture and I hope you are able to understand or I am able to explain these entries to you. So if you have any doubt regarding this you can put it in your comment box and I will try to get back to you and uh, thank you for watching this video.